So just so uh, everybody is aware, uh, this is Rain's second time in the United States. It's been, I think it's been about 11 months since Apex 2010, so it's been almost a year since Rain's been here. Uh, at Apex, we saw him primarily as a top of main, he sang into the, uh, Meta Knight. However, it seems now that Rain is more of a Meta Knight main. Surprise, surprise. I mean, it's really just a better choice, especially playing in America. Meta Knight will be farther than Meta Knight, or Meta Knight will be farther than Falco. I don't know if I can say the same for Japan. I've, I've seen some of their results, not all of them. Uh, supposedly at, at Apex, he was their best player. I don't know about that now. Um, but what's really interesting here is I don't know about the top name, top name Mars in Japan. However, Mike Hayes is by far the best Mark here in the U.S. He's specifically known for his like his prowess in the MMA match. He's getting constant practice from players such as Havoc, and Tyrant, and Bear Bear, and it, it's really helping him out in the matchup. And everybody keeps saying that like if Mark keeps going on with all that he can able to do, he might become the met the one that I counter everybody's looking for. Uh, right now we're seeing percents uh, almost tied exactly. This is dangerous when Marth gets a grab on a Smashville platform. That's what happens. I knew it was gonna happen. I told you guys. Uh, so right now we have Mike Hayes with a good uh, lead here. I still think Marth can survive for about maybe 130 or so, especially if Mennonite, uh, if he stales his down smash, which he just hit him with it, it could be as much as 135, 140. Uh, Rain is still a low percent. He can easily bring this back. It's really anybody's game right now. However, Mike Hayes is definitely the lead. Very good roll on the trip by Mike Hayes, and Mike Hayes successfully recovers. He's getting close to that 130% I was mentioning, and Rain... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, so... Everybody said this was an incredibly hype match, so I'm predicting Rain somehow wins, which would be... Kind of surprising after that, and that's not the first time I've seen him do that this tournament. I guess he's doing crazy ultra technical stuff that Americans haven't figured out yet, and he's just messing up. Uh, Rain uh, finally gets the kill on my case, 140%. Close to my original prediction, however, I was predicting a kill with a down smash out of the because up being marked off stage is incredibly risky. And first thing surprised is third like I can get lost like that. Uh, so I've been thinking Mike Hayes is really kind of confident about this right now, especially knowing him as a player, he's kind of cocky than most players. So I'm, I'm hoping that this kind of confidence here, like, won't kind of get to his head. Because even though he's at an extreme advantage right now with almost an exact one full stock lead in a, a matchup that he does very well, it could actually kind of be bad for him. And he did something incredibly unsafe there, I don't know why he did that, but again, Rain is a as an edge guard. And even though edge guarding Mars is a little bit harder for Meta Knight than, say, like a snake matchup, it's definitely still possible. And if Mars gets off stage, that even with a very quick up D that has some of the disability frames, Meta Knight can still do work on it. Now, we saw the characters recently tied at around 50%. Uh, Mike Hayes, though, is getting close to that kind of kill random, saying like around 135 or so. Uh, is, I'd say about the, the life expectancy of Mars versus a very good Meta Knight like Rain. And 145 is not exceeded at that limit, while Rain is still at a very manageable 72%. And what I'm really kind of upset about is that since I only know that there's two matches, I know whoever wins this game is going to win the set. And it's an extremely good set so far. Uh, we're seeing uh, stock tied now, however, uh, Rain is about 60% lower than Mark. But really, that's only about maybe six or seven tornadoes if you get. Like a lot of damage from them and not just like a couple of percent here and there. Uh, Rain's going for very kind of risky up B's, but you know what? When you're at this kind of percent, you need to. Oh! <laughs> and he gets the kill, killing Mike Hayes at like 80%. And so we saw Rain SDing, which he's done multiple times at this tournament, but mostly on stages like. Rainbow Cruise or Brinstar because of lack of knowledge of the stages because Japanese, the Japanese players don't usually play on counter picks. Their rule set is based around just neutrals and when I say just neutrals I'm talking like more like conservative neutrals than even the, like America uses so when I, that's why everybody's picking them to these crazy stages such as Rainbow and Brinstar but that's what really surprises me about the next match here we're going back to Battlefield. Now back when we saw 
uh, Mike Hayes and Tyrant versus uh, Seabrick and ADHD, and when they had picked Battlefield for the second game, and I said that's not a good idea because I think they need the stage to kind of benefit Tyrant, but I said they probably picked it because of Mike Hayes. He probably likes Battlefield. He can kind of chill underneath the platforms and with the long range of his sword, which Mars sword is longer than Meta Knight's, he can kind of outrange him and kind of get him into a really interesting position. So seeing that game two of Mike Hayes versus Rain really only uh, strengthens my reasoning for why they pick, why they pick Battlefield versus um, ADHD and Sabrick, which is a bad idea. But even though that they had still lost that match, I'm wondering how that's going to affect... Mike Hayes versus Rain here, like if he's really up to par with Battlefield right now, if he's really doing well versus Meta Knights. And I really think that when you play a Japanese player, especially seeing how Rain has performed in past matches, and because they've had three days to watch Rain and Earth now, and it's very clear that they're not as good on Brinstar and Rainbow. And even though it'd be suicidal for a Marth to take a Meta Knight there, I really think one of Mike Hayes' best choices would have been Brinstar, and he said he goes with Battlefield, so let's see how it goes. Seeing, uh, what, what I see, like, what I notice about Rain a lot of times is, at least compared to American players, Japanese players are very, very technical, they're very on point, like, they will practice everything until it is mastered, like, they don't care about the tech barrier, I would, I would think, and they just, like, skill is not an issue, however, I'm seeing a lot of just Tornado spam, this is already his fifth Tornado this match, I think, he's really getting that American swag on right now. And uh, that American Meta Knight swag. And you know what? <laughs> it's like the only move he's doing right now. This is hilarious. It's. I'm really, like. What I just really don't get here. Oh my god. So. <laughs> everything is interrupting my commentary. And I'm, just, I'm shocked at like, what's going on right now. And. Like. Rain won the last match, bringing back the two stock deficit with really good aggressive physical play. He's using a lot of aim moves, aerials, and he didn't really tornado that much last game. So I'm wondering why he would completely switch his play style from what was working here. And what I think is hilarious right now is the fact that we know Rain is going to win this, unfortunately, due to the re count of replays. But, um, and we already seen early death. This is just like game one already, except it's on Battlefield. Uh, my kids are on 135 or so, the same percent I've been saying the whole time, and he dies to an offstage attack from Rain. But Rain is still heavy on this tornado, and I think maybe he's realizing this is one of the best ways to succeed with Meta Knight. And we're still seeing a strong play from Mike Hayes, he's still trying very hard. He's got about a 50% lead right now, which isn't that much, but once you get to the 74% range, Especially considering uh, he's already fallen for two grab release to, uh, to deaths uh, against Mike Hayes, which has been really key in, in this uh, matchup. So I'm, I'm just wondering how uh, this is going to continue to play out. If Rain seems to be using a little bit less tornado as the match goes on, and um, he's using a bit more physical attacks, which I think is a really like a better option in this matchup. I think one of the best moves for Meta Knight to use in this matchup is up there because the way up there is angled around Meta Knight's body, it really gets it around Marth's body and it kind of reaches like beyond the sword. Now we saw another uh, good uh, kill by Mike Hayes on Rain, however just like the first uh, first dog, Rain was able to bring it back very quick. And we saw earlier Mike Hayes countering an up and a tornado from Rain, however now it's that it seems to be on the other side and now that when Rain was tornado, he was able to adapt to Mike Hayes, and he stalled a little bit before the counter. And as I say that, Rain just completely throws all my commentary back in my face and just runs right into a counter, so I don't even know what to think anymore. We're seeing grab release after grab release by Mike Hayes. I think there's been about maybe four or five grab releases this match so far. All of them have led to bears. Uh, I think one of them was to a, a down air on stage, which led to a tech chase. One was to the the down air kill at the beginning. Uh, we're seeing rain at like like a 50% deficit. He just brought it to about 40% now, 30% or 35%ish. 
Um, but really, it's still anybody's game. Meta is definitely not a kill percent. That up B is crucial. The a Oh, and Rain goes for another off stage up B. I did not expect at all. I've never seen any Meta Knight fish for kill moves so hard like that before. 